Hi, I'm CJ Holmberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in. So we've got a brand new 24 Cimarron 2 Plus 1 Air Ride sitting behind me. These trailers have become extremely popular over the last couple years. For example, when I started here 10 years ago, we'd usually carry about one of these on hand at all times. Now, we carry about five to six of these on hand on, or, on order at all times. And it's amazing how they've evolved. We went from just basically a standard two plus one, smaller tack, hand crank jack, non-air ride to hydraulic jacks, air rides on about five, four or five of the six of those. So majority of them we have on order or on hand all have air ride suspension. So these bigger warm bloods, these bigger horses that people are, are dragging around, we want these trailers to be a little bit more accommodating for them. And this setup works extremely well and again has really evolved and really just taken off after the last couple of years. So we're gonna walk through this one here in a few minutes. I wanna show you the drawing of it just so you can see how it's laid out and some of the things we've done. So we're a little over 24 foot on the floor. We're 610 wide, that's standard. So you have no wheel wells on the inside of this. This one is 710 tall. So if you've got those big, big horses, this trailer will definitely accommodate them. A five foot front tack. Again, things have evolved over the years from just standard and a lot of the options we're putting on these. So let's walk you through this. So with the Cimarron, you're all aluminum construction. They really stand behind the product. Eight year structure, three year uh, hardware warranty that's bumper to hitch. We have a one year, no questions asked warranty on the tires. So they really stand behind the product as far as that's concerned. Because this trailer is 710 tall, if you stand kind of directly in front of it, you're gonna notice this nose. This is their V nose setup here. So we have added height, which means more drag behind the pickup, but we're gonna help it out by putting this V nose on it, just the way it's gonna cut through aerodynamically. Now I want you to notice too, Cimarron uses a bigger radius on their V noses. So it's not like a lot of other competitors that'll bring it to a real sharp point right here at the actual coupler itself. Um, they're eight too long as well, the nose is. So we have a lot more uh, storage space in these, even though we went to a V-nose. So don't be scared off by that V-nose. Believe me, once you pull one of these with Air Ride, you're gonna love the way they pull. You're gonna notice the three marker lights up at the top on the nose. That is now standard on the 24 models moving forward. Uh, we were adding a lot of those marker lights onto trailers, but now it's a standard feature as far as that's concerned. They're the button light, so LED, not a big power draw, but put off a lot of light. Now, as we work underneath the gooseneck here, again, we were using hand crank jacks. Now we're going to the electric over hydraulic. And then this has a manual override as well. Believe me, this is a real nice feature to reach up here and push a button and up and down this trailer goes. Believe me, it, I'm, I'm trying to be nice about this, but majority of our customers that come in with these type of trailers are women that are about that tall and they're really small. They have these big horses. This is fantastic. And believe me, nobody wants to hand crank these. It is so nice to push the button and up and down it goes. And then you have that uh, override. So if you get in emergency situations, we can pump these on and off. It's also nice because we can keep a lot of that uh, equipment and tack on this trailer that's actually pushed more towards the nose. So it's definitely nice having that. Spare tires located to left and up. The reason why it's located to the left and up is this is 610 wide. This footprint right here of this hydraulic jack is a little bit wider than the hand crank. So we have to relocate that. And I'm gonna talk about, this is a bigger wheel and tire that we put on this trailer. We'll talk about that when we get to the back of the trailer. With the hydraulic setup, you're gonna get a aluminum battery box. You're gonna get a single battery there. Battery disconnect is now standard on these. So if you want to, when you park this trailer, you reach up there, you put that uh, in the off position and it kills all power to this trailer. To the right of that battery is gonna be our compressor. So it's all self-contained, real simple to use. On, off, lower, raise. Whenever you're pulling this trailer, turn it on, put it in the raise position and go. When you're done, turn it off, put it in the lower position and then you're done. I'm gonna show you the drain here in a second. But while we're in here, we also went in and added a Red Arc battery charger. So this is awesome. Anytime you're dealing with these, these uh, trailers with a battery on it and the battery disconnect, what happens is, as your trucker is, as you're driving, you're really kind of maintaining. You'll get a real slow trickle charge from the truck. So 
if you have some lights on, you have fans on, you put cameras, you know, those type of items are gonna be a power draw. So it's only really gonna maintain. By putting this red arc on here and plugging it into your truck, it's really going to work as a real steady and, and high output charger for you. So this battery is going to stay really charged up for you um, as you're driving. So that is definitely a nice little add on there. Um, this trailer is actually going to go be used by our GM. Uh, he's been testing them out on a couple different trailers and really like it. And we've got some customers we're adding that on to as well. The last thing underneath here. This is something that we've been doing at TransWest on some of these air ride trailers here lately, is this is an auto drain. Uh, so it actually, it's, it's a valve that drains that air ride system. We used to have a cable here that you'd have to actually pull and kind of clear the lines. You'd get that condensation, so you'd get moisture in there. If you don't do it regularly, you get kind of some nasty grime out of it. And we'd actually find air leaks in that plug right there uh, just because of the road grime hitting it where this they use this this is a commercial application so they use these on big you know semis as far as that's concerned so what it's doing is it's anytime that that air pressure is changing it's just spitting that stuff out so it's keeping that system a lot cleaner um, it's a real simple add-on that we're doing on these trailers when we get them in here uh, i know we've been in discussion with cimarron possibly making that a standard feature but we've been putting this on quite a few trailers uh, inventory and then also for some customers as well so a lot going on just even underneath this gooseneck area. Now, again, let's kind of talk about how this used to be set up, a four foot front tack. Um, now we've gone into five foot just to give us a little bit more space. You got a brush tray on the door for, you know, fly sprays, ointments, you know, throw some brushes in there, hoof picks, anything like that. You've got your step coming in and out. So a nice, easy transition. We did a 48 gallon half moon water tank right by the door. So if you need to fill up some buckets, maybe you're a long ways from the hydrant, you wanna carry some water on board for you. Uh, you don't have to worry about lugging buckets, you know, eighth of a mile, quarter mile away, depending on where hydrants are when you're at a show. It's gravity feed, fill at the top, empty at the bottom. Uh, so real simple to use there. And then as we come in here, you're gonna notice in that gooseneck again, there is a lot of space, even though it's a V-nose. You've got windows, so you can create a cross breeze, you can see out, you've got an LED light up to the left, and then a clothes bar off of the actual ceiling up there on the left as well. It is pre-framed for an AC. We do that on all these trailers. Uh, so if you ever want to, we need to add a power pack and then we can put an AC on here. You can do a camper style, maybe it's a hand crank or a 12 volt uh, type setup. We can do that in there, it's the same footprint. On the left side of the gooseneck drop wall is a 12 inch boot box. Again, great storage for smaller items that kind of bounce around in, in uh, transport. Works as a bench if you need to sit down and then a step jumping up actually into the gooseneck as well. And then recessed on the wall here is a post with three saddle racks and three blanket poles. If you don't need these, you just loosen everything up, everything up, slide it out the top, and then you can just store them, and then it's out of the way. Some people like to prefer uh, carrying, you know, totes in these type of setups. Um, so maybe you don't want this, but we wanted it there for you if you want to ever. You can take them out. You can change the sequencing if you want. You can spread them out. Maybe you don't need three. Maybe you only need one, two, whatever you need to. So a lot of flexibility here. And then carpet on the partition wall behind us. Um, that way when you're hanging hooks or hanging anything on these hooks, as you're driving, it's not actually going against this aluminum sheeting, quieter for the horses. And then a pass-through door actually going into the stall area. So you can actually transition between the stall area and right here into this front tack room as well. And one of the last things I'll point out as we're leaving is this flooring. So this is a gray rubber flooring. We're doing this on a lot of trailers. It actually started on our livestock uh, show trailer applications and we've moved it over here to the horse trailer side it's sealed on the edges so it's not like those rubber mats where stuff can still get underneath and it's not carpet on the floor that carpet will really hold an odor it'll really hold dirt um, it it's just hard to get it ever to look the same way again and not have those front tack rooms kind of have that smell to them after time That fold-up step is just on a gas shock, so it's really simple. Anytime you're running these air ride trailers, when you're loading, unloading, have them aired down. The reason why is it makes that step 
closer to the ground. Our ramp's not as steep as well for the horses loading and unloading because when we air it up, it'll actually pick it up two and a half inches off the ground. Now, with the two plus one application, you're gonna get your side ramp. So you can walk horses on and off this ramp into this first box stall. And then on this one here, I'll show you, we did this door on a gas shock window in it and then it just goes up out of the way the other application was the door that swung over a big dutch door um you know we were finding especially in windy conditions if you open that up it'll try it's a big sail it'll catch you and and uh, we actually had somebody say that she goes i'm pretty sure it picked me up and tossed me about two three foot as i was holding on to it as the wind caught it and took it into the trailer but Nice that this side ramp comes in to that box stall. So again, you can walk on the back, walk right off this side ramp as well. You know, put some smaller, you know, hand carts, uh, you know, wheelbarrows in there, maybe your smaller crickets. Those type of items can go right up this side ramp as well. We like to put the drop window right up by the head, you know, point of the shoulder on the horses, get a lot of airflow in there. You have the jail bars as well, and then a big bus window over the over the hip of the horse as well. And then you're gonna see the wraparound Dutch doors. These can actually be secured how they are right now, and you can drive down the road with them open like that. So air ride suspension. So two 7,000 pound Dexter Airflex rubber torsion. So it's, it's like a hybrid. So we have the air ride suspension, but we have shocks and a rubber torsion axle. So if something happens to that compressor, an airline, a bag, it sets down how it's sitting right now, and you can still get down the road. Uh, you're not stuck. Older air ride systems, you couldn't move the trailers. But believe me, once you have an air ride trailer, you're never gonna go back. That is the most common thing we hear from customers that have purchased an air ride trailer. I'll never pull anything besides that. It really helps the ride for the horses, the towing for you, but mainly those horses. It takes away a lot of that shock. Um, you know, just jolting to their joints. We've heard customers say, I can actually peel one extra day off the front end of my trip from a recovery standpoint for the horses because of the ride for them. Uh, so think about that from a labor standpoint, you being away from home, added expenses on, on, on the road itself. Yes, it is an upgrade for this, but if you can save on that, believe me over time, it'll pay for itself. We upgraded the 17 five inch wheels and 18 ply tires. So really heavy duty running gear underneath here with air ride setup, but then also these big heavy duty wheels and tires uh, compared to a 16 ply. Um, a lot of these are actually standard with a 10 ply. Uh, sometimes we upgrade to a 14 ply tire, but this one here has 18 ply tires on it. So as we get to the back here, here's our straight load. Two horses at the rear, you're gonna have your your uh, ramp that folds down again dutch doors above it with the wrap around hinges so they wrap around the side of the trailer and get out of the way you're gonna have two eight inch led lights up at the top load lights for you and then these guys right here this is an add-on that we like to do and we've been putting on a lot of trailers those are backup lights because the truck is a long ways away so when you put it in reverse you're getting somewhere at night it's nice to have a lot of light back here so small upgrade there and then as we come into this stall area, one big solid stud divider here. So you've got your butt bars, your chest bars. We've also got um, uh, corner feeders up here for you that get out of the way. But this is a stud divider padded and then also jail bars up top. And the reason why this is all one big piece is this is a really cool feature and this is what we've been doing on a lot of these trailers. This divider right here, I can just slide out of the way. I don't have to pick it up and move it out if I wanted two box stalls. Or again, if you're doing a golf cart, you can slide this guy over, run your golf cart, a bigger one in here, shut your doors. Uh, so a lot of flexibility there. But the, this actually took this concept from our show cattle trailers with our traveling gates, we just turned it the other way. Those usually go the length of the trailer. This one we're going across. So I'm gonna show you how this operates. So as you're breaking this loose, because this trailer is actually sitting on the slant as we're sitting here talking, it's wanting, we're actually tipped towards passenger side. So I can grab a hold of these bars. That's why it's nice to have these jail bars. But if you notice, if I just stay in the middle, I can just literally let it go and it'll slide out of the way. I can pin it against that wall 
as well. But now you have that application to easily convert this down to two box stalls. Again, a lot of flexibility if you wanted to run a card in here. This post just unpins as well and comes out. But we like that as one solid piece, so it's one big rectangle, so it's got a lot of strength to it, but then you've got that flexibility to move that back and forth. LED lights, two-way roof vents, so again, a lot more airflow. The other thing you're gonna get is standard on every single Cimarron's that roof. So it is a insulated roof, half inch thick, reinforced. It's got a gel coat on top. Uh, it's really strong. I mean, we're talking, I can walk on that roof and I don't have to find those roof bows. I can walk on it, it takes 150 pounds per square uh, foot. So really good when it comes to hail. Uh, but more importantly, it keeps the stall about 20% cooler versus aluminum sheeted roofs. So again, more comfort for the horse. You know, a lot of airflow throughout here. That insulated roof, keeping them nice and cool. Um, we can add fans, we can add cameras to these. A lot of things after the fact to these trailers. And then down on the floor itself, we upgraded to worm flooring. Rather than rubber mats, this is worm flooring. So it's permanent and it's unpenetrable. All you have to do is muck it out and you can power wash it out. So we don't have to worry about urine getting down to the actual aluminum floor, corroding that, because urine is really acidic uh, and that's what happens there. And then you've got these big stud gates up here at the front. So again, if we're loaded, they've got jail bars for more airflow. Uh, I can just open them up and there's actually spots for them to pin on the sides. And we actually like to put a little bit of length in this, in this box stall. Because of this setup, we don't want these doors getting over here in this opening of the side ramp. So we put a little bit more length in this box stall for you for that. We put some hooks in this box stall. So again, if you want to pull a third horse in here and tie them up, you can do that. Um, but again, a lot of flexibility within this trailer and and talk about just a cool setup and really versatile uh, you know maybe you're hauling some mares and foals you want to give them a little bit of, of space this type of a setup is really really popular and boy uh, again it's kind of like I was talking about you know majority of these two plus ones that we have on order are gonna have the air ride same thing with that gate right there that divider being able to move it over and convert that uh, back back up uh, that two horse straight load into that additional box stall. So same thing we're looking at, we looked at the other side, you have your wraparound door, your big bus window, your drop window with jail bars, and then you actually have an escape door that jumps right in there to that uh, first box stall area. You got a chest bar that goes over the opening, fold up step as well for you and it has a drop window as well. So again, we can get some airflow into those horses or into this first box stall if we have horses tied up there. Um, but again, what a cool setup. And again, these two plus ones are really well loaded up that we have on order, um, on hand. Uh, but a really good two plus one for those warm blood horses if you're looking for something like that. I'm gonna give you the stock number on this one for reference. Again, it's a 2024 Cimarron North Star Warm Blood 2 Plus 1 Air Ride. Stock number is 5N230136. We take trade-in, so if you're looking to upgrade, downsize, whatever you want to, we can help you out there. Financing is available and delivery is available as well. So give us a call. Anybody on our sales team can help you out. That number is 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in. Have a good day.